Hey indie lovers, welcome back to Indie Buffet. Today we are checking out Road Roads and Catacombs. Super cool little roguelike. Uh, when I was watching the video for it, or the little preview inside the Steam window, I was really reminded of, of a darkest dungeon-esque kind of game. But this is cool because you're not developing, it is a deck builder, quote unquote, but they kind of advertise it as a card builder instead. So you're uh, modifying your cards for the situation. And I know it sounds a little weird right now, but you're on the train, you're gonna be building up on your train, you're gonna be going adventures. It's it's really honestly a quite cool little concept and I like it. So you, instead of building up your deck and building up with a bunch of bunch of cards, you're modifying your cards to the situation and you know, adding things like AOEs and stuff like that. I, don't, I, I haven't got a chance to actually dive into it yet and get it because I always like do first previews here. So we're gonna check this out and see how it goes. We'll give it about 30 or so minutes. And then if you do like it, of course, I'll have the link down below. As usual, just hit that more and you will see all the links. You also see links to a Twitch, a, a Twitter, a Discord, and a Patreon just in case you do want to support the channel. That being said, we're gonna hop right in. Oh. So the preview I saw, no, the preview I saw, it's all two. So this uh, this is unlocked in Unleashed in Full Game, Unleashed in Full Game, Unleashed in Full Game. What are these, anyway? Oh, I can't look at them. Ooh, this is like a Revenant. I want to see that one. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, it says select two Warpaths. Oh, look at this. So you're mixing a class, kind of. I like that. Okay, so I'm mixing a Gambler, a powerful draw mechanic, plus two maximum cards in your hand. Very agile Warpath, but weak. Uh, draw one card, plus the damage each time you draw a card this turn. Each time you draw a card, gain plus one cheater stack, last two turns. Each cheater adds a plus one damage to all direct damage sources. Plus one damage per stack to all direct damage sources. Okay, so this is the cheater stack that we're doing. That's a lot of things. When you're playing this card, save the total of damage and the targets of this card. Okay, so these are card actions. These are the ones that you'll probably be able to add to the cards. So it looks like this guy is more of like the really big damage dealer and the constitution is super defensive, which is the first thing. Extremely defensive, deals damage using your armor. Beware of perforate attacks. Unlock this card action next level. Oh, so as you level up with these, you can unlock plus one draw per played card and plus one armor at the start of each turn after disease damage until the end of turn. Okay, I like it. Let's go ahead and get going, and then we're going to select our background. Oh, what's our background? There's a few of them. There's, I mean, I can't select any of these, so, but this one is, I was a survivor. You never know what it's like to feel safe. Your only goal is to get out of this cursed land full of madness. Sorry, hit points is 20. Sanity is 15. The number of cards in which you start the journey is 10. And bones allows you to create card actions for your cards. Unlock to next level. Plus two, plus two. Okay. Oh, it's dirty level. Holy crap. 35? Is that difficulty? Finish off this creature, that guy. With this warpath combination and gain 30% more experience. Modify. Oh, so they're. So to be able to beat the. You beat this, and I think you get number two, right? Oh, it looks like you do. It looks like everything else is unleashed in the new game, or like the full game. So I can't do anything about that. So this is my select destination. This is my engineering cabin. Let's see my engineering cabin. I could build a weapon workshop. Unlocks new boss levels. Oh, but I can't do any of this stuff in, this is in the full game. Oh, I would like to build on it. Dang. Okay, so let's let destination. I mean, that's the boss. It looks like I don't have any other destinations, though. So let's go ahead and go here. That's the one we're going for. Oh, it looks like it's a little exploring. This is the map of the area. Pay special attention to it. Take a look at the map legend. It is recommended that you explore the area a bit and prepare yourself before going to the boss. Okay. Map legend. A mighty melee groans around here. A group of depraved creatures. Something valuable, something mysterious, just a uh, just a bare piece of land. A mighty malig malignity? 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 I don't know. That's probably the boss. <laughs> um, an unexplored segment. So I can go. Can I cut any of this stuff? Or is this like material or anything? Oh, look at this. What's this? Bones. 
So I can go left or down. Uh, or I start going right or down. I can tell. I, I swear I can tell. Um, what's this? My sanity. Use bones customize upgrade cards. This is use supplies and recover part of your hit points. This is tent. So I have two wood. Do I have wood? I have zero wood. I have zero supplies. Looks like it costs three, costs two. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very small little text above that says it costs. So it might, if every, this bar measures your sanity. As you enter this dark and depressed void, it will go down. If you lose one point of sanity each time you enter an unexplored segment, and point two five if you explored it before. Once the bar is at zero, you start to lose health. Oh, so I gotta get to this guy as fast as possible. And I can customize cards. Choose one card action to customize a card. Plus one damage per stack to all direct damage choices. Last two turns. Plus two damage each time you draw a card this turn. Oh. Return damage equal to your current armor when you receive a direct attack. Last one turn, no stackable. Plus one armor per played card. Armor lasts one turn. Let's go with that. I'm, I'm more of a defensive player. It looks like some of these already have interactions on them. This one has close combat damage. Deals three damage to an adjacent enemy. And this has gain two armor points. This one's range attack. This one deals magic damage. Doesn't need to straight line vision. Draw one card, draw one card. So you can just add on to these. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's pit. So cheater, I'd be stacking cheater. So I'd be doing like something like this to power it up. So now that armor has plus cheater on it. So now, any, anytime I use this, it gives me plus one stacks and all direct damage. Which is cool. More bones. How much bone? How many bones did that cost? Each time you draw a card, you gain plus one cheater stack. Last two turns. Each cheater adds. Let's put that on there. Hmm. Put on the draw. Looks like it costs, what, five? Was that five? I need some. What's in this area at the bottle? Something mysterious. Oh, that's creepy. Here's one card action to customize the cards. Oh, but it's friendly. Armor I'd almost like to put armor on everything. Um, just because the idea that you're gaining armor no matter what is just nice. Thank you, for whatever creepy thing you are. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Just a bare piece of land. Okay, so it's just a bare piece of land. <laughs> You can keep going right, you see that? This one is something valuable. I don't want to do the, the mighty... I, want, I kind of want to fight beforehand, right? That's something valuable as well, which is the bone. I still have nine sanity. I should probably keep exploring. Oh, there we go. There's a fight. Oh my god. You have four stamina per turn. Your cards need stamina to be used. So set a strategy for playing the first one. When you want to use a card, drag it with the left mouse button. Now drag it to the square where is the character in which you want to add the effects of the card. Use the arrow. Wait, uh, blah, 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 blah. drag the square with the character in which you want to add the effects of that card. Use the arrow of the card to point it to the square and drop it. When you see that contour of the card in the square, turn yellow. Okay. Okay. Um. What's this? Oh, I'm here. Okay. So wait, current hit points. Armor, offers possession to the enemy. Uh, a skill attack condition doesn't warn you of the previous action. Don't need a straight line vision of the attack. So wait, this is what's gonna happen next? Why am I suddenly in the middle of everything? Let's 
Let's go there. Uh, heavy stab is going to do three damage. If I take this... And now this is actually going to add all armor if I just continue to use these. So actually I should avoid all the damage if I'm not mistaken. If I'm calculating this right. I don't want to use heavy stab. I don't want to use range and heavy stab in the same turn. So I'm probably going to use the magic. Oh, he's dead. Oh, almost dead. And that's the end of my turn. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, so you're attacking me. You're always deals as much damage as the current armor to this as has this character. And this one is over it always invalidates a random card from your hand for the next turn. What? I hate you. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna really hurt. You see the holy this enemy always hits you with this skill independently where you are. Do I have any range? No, I have armor though. I can kill her too. And walk is a free action. So actually I can use everything in my hand here. If I wanted to. Let's draw first. Ooh, heavy stab. Okay, so let's armor. Heavy stab. Walk. Armor. So he gets the Holy Wrath beforehand. So this is the order of things, which is really cool, actually. Override! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I only have 8 HP. Deal total number 8 damage to win. To win. So he's going to invalidate another card. Hurt. He's going to get 5 armor. Oh, I have 20 HP. No, I have 20. Okay, cool. <laughs> can I run over to him? I can. It's so I can run over to him. Let's run over to him first. Then let's range. Oh, I thought range would have only hit him. Let's draw. Kill him. There we go. I got two bones, I got one iron, and I got two supplies. Oh, I get, oh, I don't get, oh, I don't get any of them. I get just one. What does iron do? I wonder what iron does. You have tongues, coal, and iron. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. Do I get the extra? extra? Do, do they give me anything extra besides that? Do I get like, no? Okay. I'm gonna keep modifying my cards. Plus one armor per played card. Armor lasts one turn. Like I said, I like to have armor and everything. So I'm going to add that right there to the magic. I'll modify one more time. Let's do it. Draw one card. Let's draw a card too. Oh, I can't add anything to the walk. That would be, I think that'd be probably a little too OP. Probably. This would actually be draw two cards if I did that. That might actually be really good. Huh. I like to put draw on everything too. That should be nice. Can you imagine armor and draw on everything? I think that card's maxed out now. I don't think that card could do anything. Um go north. Just a blank piece of land. <laughs> Some valuable here. Bones. That works. I could go right. Fight. And then I could go, probably go down. So my sin. Oh, wow, look at this, look at this guy, jeez. Offers protection to the enemy against damage. It cannot be destroyed. Kill champion. This guy. There we go. 
There's that. this guy first. Walk. Oh, he's doing like holy wrath crap. There we go. Hit points in the next turn. No! Because I only have four armor from last turn. Aha, missed me. Ow. Get rid of that. <laughs> uh, draw? Ooh, perfect. There we go. Iron, wood, bones. I kinda want bones so I can do another one of these bad boys. When you play this card, save the total damage and the targets of this card. Attack them again with the same damage at the beginning of your next turn. Yes. A hundred percent yes. I mean, it has to be one of these. I'm going to go range because range is easier to hit. Quote, unquote. Easier to hit. Quote, unquote. Do you have supplies? I don't have supplies to use this yet. If I go right... As I say that, I got enough supplies. I like that the fire comes on when you can use it. I'm gonna save it for after this fight. Select position. Oh! Kill the champion. So let's go here. Yeah, why didn't I just do this? Right? <laughs> Suck it, noob. Oh, so if I camp, I can keep exploring. Oh, that's fancy. Look at that. Okay. I'm one of those I want to explore a lot, so I gotta keep track. I'm going north now, so I want to keep track of 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 a lot of things right now. <laughs> Another battle. I like the objectives. No purple here, so I think it's gonna be defeat all that means. Total point of eight damage to win. You're four. I think I just win, right? Okay, so you're four. Let's draw first, see if I can't get that.
Boom. <laughs> Take a hit there, though. Jeez. Do that, because I can modify now. Plus two damage each time you draw a card. Plus one damage per two of your character current armor. <laughs> Put that on something. Uh, let's 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 do the blacksmith again. Right, the blacksmith would be per played card. Okay, so that'd be something to play right off the bat. Just like the draws. There we go. I probably should put another draw on the draw, you know what I mean? I don't know the armor or the iron. I got you this is stuff to upgrade your uh, train with. Deal nine points of damage to win. It means total damage. Ripper. This enemy attacks if you enter or start the turn in adjacent square dealing two damage. Offers protection to this enemy against damage can be destroyed. Okay, so. I didn't get anything I wanted there. That wouldn't work, though. That worked even better. That'll give me a lot of armor. I'm still at 16, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have the armor. Okay, so the armor lasts literally until your next turn. I like it. Um, I don't have enough for a camp. I don't think I will get enough for a camp. I'm, I'm going to take a wood just in case. Um, Because I got like a little bit more to explore. This thing again? Something mysterious. Plus an HP. What is that thing? Like a Okay. There's six. That was interesting. I don't know. I just like licked off the body or something. I'm not sure. Sled position. Kill the champion. Where is the champion? Right here. What do I got in my hand? I got ranged. I got ranged. I got a cheater in my hand, which is awesome. Any preemptives? I don't think so. So I'm gonna hit here. Um, There we go. I was looking for that. I was like, where, where is this thing that I'm looking for? Boom. I mean, that it really didn't matter what I picked there. Uh, I have enough sanity. I have enough sanity. Uh, let's start heading back. It's getting near the end of the video anyway, so let's take on the big boy. Here, I have enough sanity to explore this last square. Oh, Grimoire Altar. <laughs> Plus one draw per played card. Huh. Deals damage to the first character in a straight line. I'm going to take that. Defeat the boss. 30% of every 
chance of reflecting any direct damage, not disease to a random character. Oh. If I can kill this guy, if I can kill this guy, I can get the hell out of the range. What the hell is this? Deal five damage and push back the first carrots in a straight line. Oh, that's gonna kill her, so it doesn't matter. Range, maybe? Dang, that's what I needed right there. <laughs> Let's draw first. Let's get to get a range. Same thing. He has the same thing. It's a mini me. It's a mini him. I was like, what am I supposed to do here? You. That poison? Huh. Let's draw first. I want to position myself where I can hit him. Wait, what? He just does that? Okay. We're doing this. There we go. Like, we're doing this. We're not, we're, I'm not playing this game anymore. He's dead. What? 369. Oh, never mind. Um, total damage dealt 142. <laughs> Highest attack done, six. Highest damage turn, 21. And total damage received, 21. Ow. Ow. Back and rest and train. Bonus activated. So let's do Warpaths to create your deck. Oh, but I already did it. Oh, so now you can go... Okay, I just want to see something real fast before we move on, because obviously you can't allow this. So now you can go to two... With this warpath in your deck and gain 30% more experience. So now you go and if you have this warpath, you go and now face these two creatures. Okay, so this is a amazing game. Um, really enjoyed it. Absolutely phenomenal. 
And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please do leave a like, a comment, comment especially, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Um, but definitely, I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming in, and I will see you folks in the next one. Peace.